disappointing and problematic. That's how I would describe my iron game at the minute. Let me explain. So when I think of my iron game, it used to be a strength. I used to think I knew how far I was going to hit it. I knew which shot shape I was going to get. And I knew how well I was striking it. And that's just not been the case at the minute. For instance, rounds like the one at Celebration from In The Red. Oh, I've shanked it in the water where I made my highest score on a par three that I have done pretty much in a long time, if not ever, putting three golf balls into the water and a fourth actually having to lay up on a par three because I was hitting my irons that bad. And it's just not what I need. I need to know that I'm actually getting these irons in play. And actually, when I look at some of the data that I've collated from my shot scope rounds, what I'm seeing is that it's a little bit flattering for me. I see that actually compared to a zero handicapper, I'm not too bad when it comes to proximity to the hole. But actually, what I'm finding that I think may be my problem is actually stands out there. I'm only hitting 53% of the greens, and I'm in the high 20s of actually missing the green short because I'm not actually hitting my irons that well. So I need to fix this. So what's been happening? What's the ball been doing? My problems are, I think, poor strike, I get it heavy, right. um, so obviously lose distance mm -hmm. in that sense. And then ball flight, I've mm -hmm. hit push fades, mm -hmm. I'm hitting pulls. Like that, that is prime example. Nice toe pulled left. So I feel, just first of all, looking at your alignment, I think yeah. you're actually getting a bit left with your lower body and feet and a bit shut. Obviously, if you are aiming left and then you try and correct it, that's tilting you, yeah. firing back this way. I think you yeah, actually I almost feel, need to feel, I feel this way. way a lot. Yeah, well, I think, you, I think you need to feel more closed with your feet, more, sounds crazy, more open with your shoulders. You've yeah. actually gone the other way. You've gone a bit left with your lower body, then trying to correct it. And yeah. the more you correct it with your upper body, the more your head's getting back. Yeah. That'd be nice with a driver feeling a bit that way because you want to hit it in and up a bit. Yeah. with the driver, but not necessarily with an iron. Yeah. You definitely, we, I know and we know historically your right hand creeps a little bit strong. Yeah. As soon as your right hand creeps a bit strong and, and you put some forces in the motion, the face will get a little bit closed, you see here, yeah. and then you'll start to try and lift the left. You know, how you, if this face is shut, there's only one way you can arrange yeah. it I think square, when I hit it well, my, doing this. my sort of feeling is to be like Justin Thomas Weaker, rehearsal yeah. every yeah, time yeah, just yeah, try and get the face there. Well, exactly. I always feel like I've fanned it open on correct, the way back. Correct. You, hey, you there, you watching, if you're enjoying this video as well, remember, hit the subscribe button down below. Just a little click. Let's get back to my lesson, see if it can help you out. Do you no harm as a drill, if I may. Get, get, get the tilt down low, I'll really open it, and, and just hit, hit a few of these, you know. See, that's going straight with a bit of fade on it. Yeah. That's just overkill, isn't it? Yeah. Just kind of really feel a bit of him in us. Right, and come on. Swing, swing through here, low and left. Low and left. Open it up, that's it, low and left. Like hitting a massive bunker shot with a seven iron. That was a solid strike, wasn't it? Yeah. So you're not fighting that's the, the first face path now. That's gone out to it as well. Yeah, exactly. And they've found the middle here. Exactly. So that's a great strike, isn't it? Okay. Definitely have had a strike. Good. That's better. It's an actual golf shot. That's it. Bob on. So I've had my lesson, and just to recap on the little things that my dad wants me to work on, and annoyingly, he's always right, and they're actually historical problems, which shows you probably just need a little bit of a service now and again when you are working on your golf swing. But um, what we found was that the problem me being A, a grip issue, that my right hand for me generally slips under the golf club quite a lot, which is causing my face to get a little bit closed and then which was causing this standing up leading to those shanks which we saw on that par three at Celebration and also just seeing a real lack of strike overall, which equates to that lack of distance, hence why I'm missing green short. So it was an interesting lesson because a lot of the stuff was really basic. 
Um, and I think that's a really good point to take away because a lot of people go trying to make these huge changes and we don't often sometimes just look at the fundamentals and getting those right, I think is one of the biggest things you can do to actually improve your golf and be a good golfer. So for myself, like I say, a grip change, which actually when I'm in the office now, I've actually got a, a training grip that if I'm sat at my desk sometimes, I actually just have a little play with here and actually just get my hands onto the right position. But my big takeaway for me is this right hand, I've really got to feel that um, starting to be a lot more on top. Then secondly, my real big drill after um, checking that my setup was square, just feeling that I'm a little bit squarer with the feet and shoulders now, was almost feeling like I'm swinging down this yellow line here. So instead of picking it up and being a bit lazy, which I'm tending to do, I've got to feel like I'm taking it out for the bunker shot and then feeling like I'm coming across. Now, actually what that equates to is me just actually being pretty neutral in my path and my plane as I'm going through. So I've been practicing, I've been hitting some shots and a lot of the times what I'm tending to do as well is actually just make some half swings at sort of half speed, really trying to exaggerate these things to actually help me get the understanding and the feeling to see that I can start to do it and actually feel what I'm meant to be doing and actually bring those into bigger swings. If I start just trying to do it full out straight away, I do notice I'm tending to get that right, uh, right hand sticking back out under. So a really good tip if you are trying to make a little change, I would always start with some smaller ones and then try and bring it back to actually hitting some bigger ones because even there like that, we see a nice little shot that, yes, it's only going maybe two thirds of the distance, but it's actually allowing me to actually get what I want back into my golf swing, get the good stuff in. So now that we've actually understood why I was so bad, it's time to actually see if I can put it to the test. I'm gonna play the eighth hole at Carnoustie, which is a par three, 175 yards, which theoretically should be a seven iron, a comfortable one for me, but I would have been missing it short in previous attempts. I'm gonna see if out of five balls, I can get three golf balls on because that'll be 60%, which will be higher than my 2022 stats. So five golf balls, let's see if we can get at least three of these on the green. All right then, so we're going seven iron, it's 175. I've just got to try and exaggerate these feelings still. And I think one little thing that I have noticed that's really good for me is A, getting the grip right and the setup, and then I just have to have a little check here of my toe, and then it's all about just trusting it, trying to put a nice tempo on it. So let's see if we can actually do this thing. Come on, I love this hole. I actually made two when I played here in real life. One of my good iron shots, setup's good, grip's good. Feel it and trust it. It's a positive start. Gotta hold the green, gotta hold the green, gotta hold the green. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, yes. What I love about that straight away, 175 to the flag, I've carried it 177 and I don't feel like that was actually my best strike. So it shows with working on these things, even if it's not quite there, it's better than it was before. I think it's good to test myself as well, even though that I'm here on the sim and actually doing this, I've actually found the problem, tried to fix it. And even now doing this, I've got a little bit of nerves. I want to actually do well. So actually testing under a bit of pressure is a good way to see if these changes are coming in. This grip still feels a little bit funky, but just got to trust it, get those feet right. Oh, that's going to be left. Release that a little bit too much then. Ah, that was more me, just a bit flippy on that one. All right, come on, ball three, let's go. Let's get a nice little fade onto the floor. That was a reaction to the last one. Oh dear, oh dear. Right then. This is good, the pressure's on now because I've got to get these last two on. That'd be a good shot. That could actually go in the hole. Oh no, it's gone further. Stay on. Oh, that's 
missed by an inch. So let's see how the last one goes. I'm not actually too disappointed with that because it's actually about 20 foot away from the flag there. It's a pretty good golf shot. It's, it's not bad. I'd be happy with that on the course. Oh no. Well, it's not quite the result I wanted, but it just shows that I've got room to work at it and I know what I need to work at. Let's just give you my final thoughts on this. So not quite the result I wanted in the test there, but I think three pretty decent golf shots. Um, but what is good to see, actually after having my lesson, doing some practice and actually starting to collect some more data in the early part of the year, I'm now seeing that my green percentage stats are up. Yes, albeit that I think there's four rounds in this one and I think the other one was for 12 rounds collected. But straight away, I'm seeing an improvement, I think, of over 20% in my greens actually hit. And the actual percentage of greens that are coming up short has dramatically dropped. So actually having some data, finding out the problem, having the data to back it up and then putting a plan in place is really starting to help. I've seen it work with my driver. I'm now going to hopefully see this improvement carry on with my irons. And I think... You know, like I said earlier, having an idea of what you're doing wrong and how to actually improve it is a big thing, but then also having something that you can look at and see if you are improving all the areas that do need improving is a huge thing for you. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, remember, do hit that subscribe button down below. Plenty more of my improvements to come, which I hope are helping you get better at the game as well.